Hey, Zero. I am doing well, and I'm not going anywhere this time. I hope. Uh, color balance is still a little off, but at, le at least this is better than it was the other day. How you doing, Zero? Hope you are having a good day and gearing up for this Friday. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was, that sucked. That really, like, put a... Dude. The kiddo loves it. The kiddo saw me wearing a unicorn shirt was like, I don't wear one! Oh, it was fantastic. Another streamer? Awesome! Who are they? We'll shout them out. Or at least say hello. Unless it's uh, a maze or gamer. Because they're good people. Um, let's start working on this. Uh, yeah, like 15 minutes. So we're, uh, we're pretty much going to do nudie, which are like gnocchi, but ricotta and spinach based. Stop touching the wood. I, I would like, you know what, I'm just not finishing that sentence, I'm just letting it be, we're, we're, we're not, we're not talking about that. Nothing about what I would or would not do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ain't falling for that trick. Um, Alright, so I've got some frozen spinach over here that we need to kind of like squeeze dry. So I'm going to do a double layer of paper towels to dry that a bit. And we're going to do the same with our ricotta. We're going to do kind of a uh, double batch because we're like increase the amounts by 50% because the shit's delicious. So this is spinach. You know what? I should probably have squeezed it dry first, shouldn't I? I have crap. All right, I'm going to pop a bunch of this back out squeeze it as best I can, like, in the container. Hello. Hello. He's here. Ooh. Dude, I am awesome. Dude, nudie are so damn good. Nudie are an Italian, um, like, dumpling. But again, with ricotta and spinach instead of potato. So think of gnocchi, but nudie. And the whole idea of nudie means, like, nude, little, you know, no, uh, no shell, as opposed to like ravioli. So I've got a bunch of uh, spinach. We're gonna again. I, I've squeezed dry. We're gonna kind of lay it on out. And this is defrosted. We're using frozen spinach because it's easy. <laughs> you know, it's, it's inexpensive. It's frozen. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not. I am, I'm an American mutt. You know, I've got some, you know, Northern German, some Irish, some Luxembourg, Austrian. Um, but I really, my family has, has lived in the U.S., my families, I should say, since the 1800s. So for me, there's very little old country, quote unquote, left. Everything was just... Uh, Everything has just been Americanized. And hello, who just followed that? Hey, again, NJ Orver. Again, are you hanging out with uh, Zero? That's awesome. We are, again, we are good. I think I said that when you first hopped in, but I want to make sure I can say hello. Howdy. So we're going to let this spinach dry. And we're also going to drain our ricotta the same way. Triple layer for the ricotta though, because it is a little drier by default. 
And we want to make sure we get all that delicious, delicious, uh, we want to maximize the cheese component. We'll get it in a <laughs> There is some moisture in there. Again, the whole idea is spread out as much of this as we can to just get every bit of moisture out because that's going to prevent it from binding as easily. Uh, but they're still going to be super light tasting because it's like it's cheese and flour and uh, it's cheese, flour, and spinach. Like that's all these little things are and they are so damn good. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna move this back to drain. And while that's draining, we're gonna start our bread. So exclamation point recipe two is our bread recipe today. Also, everybody, cheers friends. Mm, that's good. Um, I'm gonna have the bread machine in a different room because it is a little loud. Not terribly loud, just a little bit. Hey, Amber. I, I, I dig the work thing. Coldy, sounds good, my friend. Hop on, lurk, whatever works by you. We'll rock and roll and get some finished photos. Amber is the best. You are the best. How are you doing today, Amber? Exclamation point recipe and then the number. So here, um, exclamation point menu is what I'm doing. So the sandwich bread is like an exclamation point recipe two. And that's the sandwich bread that I'm doing. So I'm even going to click it right here because I got another computer right here. And so again, this is a bread machine bread. You may be like, oh, you're doing bread machine bread. Yeah, because the bread machines are awesome. They... Bread machines aren't great at baking bread, but they are fantastic at kneading a bread and at combining the ingredients, which is kind of the part that sucks sometimes. So it's nice. Amber, I'm in a good mood. Um, had a long, had a bunch of long ass meetings today that definitely had me like dragging. Yesterday, I was kind of in a poo poo mood. Just end of the day, just was feeling bleh, like run down. But I had a really good night last night seeing some friends from my local homebrew club. Um, and then the meeting that I wasn't, an hour and a half meeting I wasn't looking forward to today, ended up being really positive with like, I think there's some positive change can come out of it. So it's like, you know what? Like F the haters, I don't care. Let's, let's ha A, let's have fun. B, let's try to address these concerns and find some resolutions. It also worked out very well because Mittens um, had karate last night, but I had my event to go to. So there's a little back and forth if I would watch the kiddo or Mittens would, and Mittens said, like, I'll bring the kiddo to karate. And kiddo loved it. Kiddo wanted to see Mama's karate and, like, played on the phone or, like, watched, watched a science show, which I love, and was, like, super good about it, like, super well behaved. Yeah, so it's like the kiddo was in a great mood. So Mittens and I love that. And then um, this morning, kiddo woke up and just wanted to paint. So kiddo painted like a little unicorn model that they've had. And like, I love that. I love the fact that the kiddo just wanted to paint and put something together and be creative. Not just be a TV zombie, but like do something and ask for more time to paint. It's tough because as a father, like, I want to get her out the door. I want to get us to school. But I also want to say, like, it's just daycare. Ten minutes isn't going to matter. Yeah, kid, you, you can keep on painting. I'm okay with that. So actually... So kiddo is five. So, you know, all things, but it's like, this is what they made. 
you know, this is what they painted. So, you know, five-year-old that's doing a decent job of choosing what parts they wanted to work on. It's like, good job, kid. Like, I appreciate the fact that they took the time and they wanted to keep painting. It's, it's just a very fun feeling of like, all right, little one. Like, yeah, it's just daycare. Like, keep, keep going. Rainbow Unicorn, exactly. And that they did, A, they did a damn good job. B, they had fun. That's, that's all I want. Like, that's all the, like, that's the success I want for my kids. Uh, even, Amber, see the shirt? <laughs> anyway, again, kiddos happy, they're good. No, everything else kind of like just falls into place after that. In, in a good way. Like, I'm happy about that. Let's get like a tea, uh, let's get like a half teaspoon of yeast. Because that's, that's a pretty good, well fermented bit of a starter we're throwing in. Bork, bork, bork. Hey, Fitty. How are you doing? Yes, you. So can I can I just say to all of you, thank you for joining me. Like this is this is exactly what I was hoping for to like pop up at the end of the day and have a bunch of people pop in just like just talk and say hey like ah oh, this is awesome awesome. All right, so we need a uh, thirty-seven grams of dry milk. I should probably tear it first. <laughs> Fitty cent! Again, it's... Was definitely feeling down, was feeling a little, you know, it's a little, little lethargic earlier, but just feeling good now, seeing friends cooking for the family. You know, not, it doesn't get much better than that. I think I mentioned, like, I stream for company. So having someone, like, this is just like having someone in the room next to me while I cook and just chatting. It's fantastic. Nice, dude. What did you, again, you're, you were cooking lunch, I gather. What was on your menu? Uh, Twenty-one grams of honey. Ooh. Oh, cool. Amber, that's awesome. So I, I did Blue Apron a couple of years ago, and I liked it, um, but then again, we bought like two bad batches of it. It was years ago. I'm not saying it's like that now, but Mids and I have even talked about like redoing it, especially to provide easier recipes for the kiddo to follow, because a lot of my recipes tend to be a little more involved, and we both love having the kiddo in like part of dinner, part of what we're making. Uh, again, I want to get the name right. Najorv? No, NJ. 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 Ovir? Najorvir? Najorvir? Creamy chicken ramen sounds fantastic. 100%. We're just on uh, Jorvir. Jorvir. Norvir, the J sounds like a Y. So I'll say like Nyovir, Nyoi, Nyovir, Nyovir. Gotta keep, 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 work with me. Nyovir, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm about as gringo as they come, but I love languages. I love, again, I love culture. I love what people do, what's going on, what like drove a lot of stuff. And getting, getting names right, even if it's not the way that I'll pronounce it otherwise by reading it, I love that help of what needs to be done. Amber, I 100% get that. So actually what Mittens and I do is on the weekend, I'll put up a list of everything we're cooking that week, and then I'll put down like five or six suggestions for next week also. 
and mittens will kind of pick and choose if there's something that they I put down that they're jonesing for and they like circle it or put it down. It's like, we are doing that. Otherwise it's whatever available. Like I know next week I'll be doing, actually, let me, I can even write it down now. Um, we still need, let me microwave the butter. Next week, I know on Friday, we'll be doing uh, venison stew. And the kiddo requested on Wednesday swordfish. We were at the store, so I go shopping with the kiddo. And they was like, Dad, Dad, what's the store swordfish taste like? I'm like, you want to get it and eat it? Yeah! So, so we're having swordfish. I think we'll do swordfish on Wednesday. I'll find something to cook with that. Mondays are always meatball Mondays. So all right, we got a, got a couple things that what we're going to be eating next week is just like written down. Um, Amber, yes, this is going to be a honey sourdough. So I have my sourdough starter that is older than my daughter. Um, and so a little bit of honey really helps to kind of boost it up. We have about two tablespoons of butter. We have some dried milk. Because, again, I'm making sandwich bread. So I do need to have it a little bit softer than like a nice crusty sourdough loaf. But I want to use the starter I have. This is a great way to do it. away we need some salt 12 grams of salt and then bread flour and I br buy bread flour by the 50 pound sack because if it's not bread flour or bread that I'm making I'm making pizza um I love making pizza pizza is delicious so let's do 12 grams you know let's do the salt last I like doing the salt on top of the bread flour just so it incorporates evenly we want about 480 grams of, yeah, we, we do. So I have a, have this guy a bread flour upstairs. I also have a 20 pound tote of bread flour upstairs. And then in the basement, I have a 30 pound tote. So between all that, I can open up a bag of bread flour and utilize it. But it's also just like, if you buy it at that scale, it's like less than 50 cents a pound for super high quality flour. And like, not only am I supporting a business I enjoy, King Arthur, uh, but I'm also getting it at a price I can't beat otherwise. And with the amount of flour I go through, makes perfect sense. So I want this to be 97. Little high, a little more than I wanted to go, um, but not by much. So I'll just get a little something out and we'll count that. Okay, um, I'm gonna get the bread machine and I am going to put it in the other room because otherwise it's gonna be going as it's mixing up. But I love using the bread machine to mix the dough um, to knead it together for me, and then I just pop it out when I'm done, put it into a greased loaf pan, and just put it in the fridge, and then bake it in a loaf pan. All the hard work was already done. And Amber, price control, I've been doing it again, I've been doing this since the kiddo was born, is buying flour in this amount. Um, the price of flour at bulk has gone up like two bucks, but individual, it's gone up like so two bucks, let's see, that would be, I'm talking 20, um, I'm talking like an 8% rise in price over the past five years. If I buy the same flour at the store, it's gone up like 20% in price. So it's even with inflation adjusted, it's still cheaper. Or it's even more cheaper, even more cheap. It's better to buy in bulk if you make a lot of bread. And this ends up being like a dollar's worth of ingredients, maybe a maybe, maybe a dollar twenty worth of ingredients 
for a banging loaf of sandwich bread, sourdough sandwich bread that would cost you four bucks at the store. Anyway, I'll actually start the, cause I'm gonna, I'm, not that I've done that beer, but I'm close and I wanna get some brown ale from the basement. Again, another thing I made. Um, so I'm gonna turn this on and pop it here so you guys can see how it gets kneaded for the first couple minutes while I refresh my beverage. Probably don't save money on beer, but you know, I like making it. I like making stuff myself. So we're gonna turn it on to like a dough mode. How cool is that? How, how much fun is that to watch? Let me, let me get a beverage, I'll be back in a minute, but just gaze in the glory that is the, the bread. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's about it. We got some, hey, wiggle, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Timmy. Look at, look at that little bread baby coming together. That's going to be delicious. It's going to be pretty damn good. We may even have time to shake that before dinner time. Let's see, hour and a half from now, so say, yeah, we, that might be the last thing we do before we sign off stream today. Wiggle, 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 yeah, wiggle, 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 yeah. Um, and I've been thinking about doing another loaf of like a hardcore sourdough bowl. Um, those take a little more time to prep, but I made one recently and it was oh, chef's kiss. Uh, but this is, this is most of what you need to do for this. I'm just looking, um, transfer spinach to bowl with flour mixture. And we're going to mix, we're going to add into a sheet pan, into 50 uh, portions. Into a one inch ball, and we're doing a butter sauce with a... We're just gonna get stuff ready. It's gonna be nice and easy. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off. More exactly, I'm gonna unplug it, and we'll start prepping stuff. We'll probably have time. Um, Amber, it is surprisingly easy. Um, now that comes with caveats. It does take. Uh, you know, wait till I'm back. I don't want to be shouting you. That's, that's put away. Um, it's not that hard. 
to make sourdough, a sourdough starter. It does take time and it does take feeding, but you could be a, it needs the most attention in the first two days. Once you get past that, like you're only gonna take care of it like once a week. Sometimes I, I, don't, I don't bother with mine for, until three weeks, but it's, it's a well-established one. Um, so there's a thought that were, if you start off a starter with instead of water using some pineapple juice, the acidity in the pineapple juice helps to select for the yeast you want for the sourdough. Um, so, but once you get it started again, once you're in like two to three days in, you're good. Uh, there's not much more you got to do that. So I'd say like make your own with whatever good quality local flour you have. I do think flour is one of those either buying a high quality national brand like King Arthur or find out if there's a local mill near you and pay the extra buck for high quality flour. It's bread is mostly flour. So why not like why not get the good stuff? Let's, uh, let's get going. We are going to start making our base mixture for the nudie. We are doing a little bit more than a standard batch, so all the recipe ingredients, the amounts, I'm doing a one and a half times. So it's gonna take me a minute to translate something, so this will be a fun, you know, fun exercise in uh, quick math. Uh, so we want uh, three fourths of a cup of AP flour. So it does say AP and not bread. So I still do keep a little bit of bread, uh, AP flour around, mostly because, you know, not everything needs bread flour. Not everything needs that level of gluten. Amber, look into it. I, I followed, again, pineapple juice sourdough starter. It was, it was so easy. It really, really was. And I'm not using the original starter that I started out with, you know, before my kid was born, but... I gave someone my starter. My starter died because it froze, um, but they still had it. So I have like a generation removed. I still count it as the same. Hey, Thick. How are you doing, my dear? You still home, Thick? But yeah, it's sourdough. Sorry, so Thick. We just made a bread, uh, like mixed up a bread. And it's right now um, mixing in a in our bread machine, and that's off to the side. And now we're going to be uh, putting together nudi, which are like little Italian um, ricotta dumplings. So let's see. We want to have flour, Parmesan, panko, salt, pepper, and lemon zest. So we want one ounce of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of panko. So let's see what uh, the panko should be right here, or it's in the basement. Panko is in the basement. I repeat, the panko, ooh, is it back here? Ha ha! Panko! And a nice little. Right up Sunshine's Alley, already. Amber, you just can, you, both of you, just rock with whatever works. So one tablespoon and a half. Also, I'm enjoying the music. I'm glad I, I, I stopped with the music for a little while because it wasn't like syncing properly. And then I put it back in like, yeah, I like, I like having a little bit of something, a little bit of something. I think it, it adds, it adds more than it takes away. Uh, we want three quarters of a teaspoon of table salt. So we're just going to do one teaspoon of table salt. Um, we want like a, the zest of one lemon. And we're going to want a teaspoon of pepper. We'll throw some pepper in. Uh, 
Um, and then, we want Parmesan cheese. So we're going to want a crap ton of Parmesan. Thick, uh, I agree. In particular, thick. You make an excellent point. It helps fill in that silence. And while I don't mind just talking all damn day, as y'all have noticed, um, it helps round things out. It also, I think, helps me just kind of, kind of flow. Like, I don't, I just kind of, I'm, I'm more okay with just rocking along. But I 100% thick, and I think that's a very valid point. One lemon. You know, what? I might have some lemon in the fridge. Diced. That's a lime. Lime, lime. So first of all, we're going to combine these two lime together. As long as neither one's rotten. I think these should be fresh. The adventures of what the heck is in my fridge. Yeah, both both fresh limes. So I wish I had known about that. I wouldn't have used one of them. Um, I guess I used up all the lemon. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll pop one open. Not a big deal. waste. I don't like wasting food. That said, if food if food is gone bad, I just let it go bad. Like you, you toss that. There's not it's not worth saving. But otherwise, I love having a fridge full of like odds and ends um, of like soups and stocks and like other other flavor bits that can be used. And if we get to use this lemon, awesome. If we don't, well, I'm still using it right now. The recipe doesn't call for it. God, son of a bee. This is probably why you don't use... <laughs> <laughs> already sliced lemons. Ugh. Well, you know what? We're just, we're just going to toss these when we're done. You know what? I'm not making anything with lemon in the next couple days. I'll just use what I have. The fact that I'm using them right now, I'm happy. I use something that I might have I might have tossed otherwise. and a half of Parmesan. And that's actually a pretty good amount. Yes, uh, Thick, you're exactly right. The The white part is the bitter part, the, the rind, uh, the pith, it's called. So that's why when you're grating lemon zest, you only want to get the outside, you know, whatever, any citrus, you avoid the pith. I've got two drinks. I got. I got to decide. I got to finish up this one. Okay. I was just about done with this anyway, so. And normally I save the rinds. I've got like five rinds in the freezer right now for soups and stews. I'm gonna start using them more now that the weather is colder, but I don't I don't do as many soups and stews in the uh, in the summertime.
that's enough cheese to start. And if we need more, we add more. Because again, that's we are grinding it very finely, so that like that's that's probably about now. It's probably need a little more in a lot of just of how well it it gets ground. Mm. Yeah, Amber. What was oh I saw the the photos of the hail that you submitted that you sent on uh, Discord. That looked aw I say awesome because I love love storms, but I can see that being a little intense. Anything get damaged? And actually, Thick, have you had any uh, crazy storms in your neck of the woods? the bowl and mix gently so we want three egg whites so we're gonna do that now legit out of nowhere nothing got damaged that's awesome that's good such a good day good end to the day everybody being able to stream being able to cook for the family like and, and being done with work and being done with the week and just be like all right i'm gonna have a drink or two gonna cook some good food um this recipe does not need a whole lot of time there's some waiting for draining but that's pretty much already done so there's a little bit of like let's just let's just rock it's a good thing it, it puts you in a good it sets you up for success. And I'm gonna need success because I'm planning on doing a uh, six mile trail run in the woods with one of my buddies uh, tomorrow. Um, which I don't think I'm ready for, but I'm, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll run with a friend. I mean, what, what do I care? Ah, oh, thick. That that weather sounds awesome. I know you had a brutal summer, so I'm, I'm not saying it's all good, but that sounds that sounds pretty darn nice right about now. Yeah, again, I, my, my buddy, my buddy went to college in my city. I'm, I'm, we grew up together, like, so we went to different schools in the same city. Uh, and his parents now live in, in Philadelphia. And so he's visiting for the weekend and they're doing the trail run again, like a five or six mile trail run. It's him, his dad and his brother. And his dad and his mom are, are in amazing shape, better shape than I am. Um, so I'm like, oh boy, do you want to run with me? And his brother became like a cross country guy. So I'm like, I'm probably going to be the worst in shape out of this group, but I'm hoping to do a half marathon in two weeks, three weeks. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a go. Let me, let me see what I can do. Hey, laughter. Oh, thick. That's awesome weather wise. Laughter, how are you doing, my friend? We are making our Italian nudie, G-N-U-D-I. So again, we want three egg whites. We're doing these one at a time. To, so if we break one, we minimize contamination. The trash is stinky. Uh, Gucci. No, nudie. <laughs> G-N-U-D-I. A 
I've got my beer just off uh, camera. I'll grab a sip of that as soon as I finish working with these eggs. Yeah. Wipe that on up. Um, I will get the food processor out in a second to blitz down our spinach. I actually got to get the big boy. I'll probably use the big boy to mix this all up also. It calls for like tossing it, but I think we're going to want to be a little more aggressive than that. Yes, uh, thick. So we're going to save the yolks. Um, if mittens doesn't, we're going to use them within two days. So if mittens doesn't have them for tomorrow's breakfast or lunch, I'll use them by, by Sunday. Like maybe I'll make an omelet, a super rich omelet. I don't have a recipe in mind that's yolk heavy. Um, but as long as all you're putting into clean containers, you've got a couple days of use out of anything. Laughter, I could, I was about to drink this and I was like, oh, wrong thing. Um, I could make some mayo laughter. That's a good point. I haven't made mayo in a while. Um, and I've got some chipotles I was thinking about making into like a sauce. So I could do some homemade mayo laughter. You've uh, got a good idea. We're actually going to one of the kiddos peers houses for dinner tomorrow. And I was in contact with the, the father um, and the wife, um, the mother. To figure out like what do we want to eat because i i love cooking <laughs> obviously um so that could be like make some kind of mayo tomorrow during the day that could be fun yeah that's a great idea laughter awesome uh, laughter 10 points for gryffindor oh nice um I've done Kenji Lopez Alts mayonnaise before, and it's always been great. Um, it takes some time to get right. Don't get me wrong. I've made it. I've failed a couple times. Do not get me wrong. I've had several mayo failures. Um, but I've definitely gotten the process down better. Awesome. awesome that you have chickens. Good friend of ours has chickens, and I, I'd love to have some. Mittens hates birds. It sound, mittens hates anything that flies. Birds, bugs, butterflies. Butterflies, mittens does not like. I swear, I don't get it. You know what, laughter? If I've got time today, I'll make mayo. Because I've got mustard, I've got the immersion blender right there, we've got the oil. If I have time, I will make mayo on stream. No, mayo is not hard to make. The kicker is like preventing it from um, uh, breaking is, is really what it is. So it's like, thick, if you've got something that works for you, A, feel free to share it, and B, awesome. Like, that's your success is my success. All right, let's get the food processor down. Ugh, so I actually need to get the stool to get this down. Things so high up. Do we eat? I don't know if I'll do cows, because cows are pretty freaking big. Yeah, and, th and thick. That's a, a blender, stick blender, whatever. Like, one of those helps. Um, I'd like to do pygmy goats. Not full size, because I think that's a little, little, too, little too big, a little too much work. But, like, pygmy goats, especially for milk? That sounds awesome. That sounds so cool. All right, so here's all our spinach. That's me saying spinach really weird. 
but it's been dried. So again, now we're gonna give this little, little wipey wipe and we'll make the nudie on this board. Laughter, if I've got time, I'll make it. Goal is to have, you know, food ready for the fam in an hour and a half. So as everything else is done, yeah, we're making that shit. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna mute because this thing is, too, is it's a great cheap little blender. It is so fucking loud. So we're gonna mute real quick. All right, let's see what that, how that looks. Uh, not bad. I think probably a little more. I might, see, I don't want to put the egg whites in and over whip them, but I think we need a little more, a little something else to really help this blend. Cause it's, unfortunately the Wegmans, I, this is where I got the spinach, the frozen spinach is very stemmy. Trader Joe's has awesome spinach with like no stems at all. The stems will help bind it a bit. Don't get me wrong, but. You know, it's, the TJ stuff is better, is what it comes down to. Ooh, and, uh, Thick, thank you very much for sending that link. Let's, uh, take a look. Downshiftology. Yeah, pretty, pretty similar to what I do. I usually use more, um, I usually use, uh, cider vinegar and heavy, heavy Dijon mustard, but yeah, pretty much the same idea. Stick blender. Yep. That's, that's pretty darn close. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much. You gotta go slow with it though. All right. Let's give this another mix or two. That's good enough. So we have in here, we've got our flour. We've got a crap ton of a uh, cheese. We've uh, got our salt. So I'm actually gonna spend a minute just mixing this. Yeah, I'll say that looks like it would be like a 16 ounce mason jar. Awesome. So next up is going to be the spinach. I also just realized I'm not wearing an apron. So uh, this, there's going to be a lot of flour on this. By the time that we're done, so the bee. Um, I'm going to just grab my apron just because this we are working with flour now. As I said, like if, if we get everything else done, we are making mayo uh, today. All right, apron. The, the data corn, but we've got we got cooking to do. Um, transfer to spinach. Uh, we're gonna add our ricotta. We're gonna mix. Then we'll add our egg whites and mix. So let's get our ricotta ready. It asks you to do like three folds or something, but frankly, you know, let's um. This is kind of fun. 
Let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. We'll flip this on its side again. Hey, Dr. T. Dr. T, you want me to make you some nudie? All right, nerd. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Dude, it's all hopping in for a bit. We've got our flour mixture. We've got, so that's flour, salt, pepper, lemon zest, and um, Parmesan. And obviously now spinach. We are getting our ricotta ready. So we drained the ricotta. Actually, it got a lot of moisture. And that's going to help it uh, bind up better because we got rid of a lot of the moisture. Look at that, just pfft, done. Move this into the sink. We'll give it a first. I need that spoon back. Send the nudies. I'll send you some nudies. <laughs> that goes against that goes against the Twitch TOS. I don't. I, don't, I can't deal with a three-day ban. No, we're just gonna use our hands. I'm gonna make sure my hands are clean. I'm gonna give them one extra wash and then I'm gonna have some beer first. So I'll just be taking off my shirt, but it just looks like a sweater anyway, so. Get past uh, Twitch's uh, box. Once I hit the 5K viewers, then I'm in trouble. I guess I gotta launch my, uh, my OnlyFans at the same time. Or uh, I'll, uh, it'll all be about cooking, like NSFW cooking. So I'll call it like only pans. <laughs> um. <laughs> be good, Thick. Thank you for hopping in for a bit. Always take care of yourself, my friend. Smells so good. That little bit of lemon, only forks. Mm. What do you got against spoons? <laughs> um, this smells so freaking good. Oh, that little bit of lemon adds so much to this. Hey, Amaze! Only sporks. Amaze, um... You know what? You, you're, you're worth it, Amaze. Let me take a second. Only foons. Amaze puts out some very fun content. A lot of YouTube streams on occasion. But you know what? It's just a damn good human being. And we love respecting that shit here. All right, so this is really well com combined, combound. I done mixed it good. Um, so we're gonna like put it into like one tablespoon measures and uh, put it off to the side. We're, we're done like that, this part of it. So let me wash my hands. Of course my, amaze. That's good. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shape about all of these. So it's gonna be about 50 or so. Then we're gonna make our sauce. We're gonna have our sauce to the side. And then when Mittens and the kiddo get home, we'll tell them 20 minutes till dinner, Let's get the table set and we'll start boiling these and then we'll serve. Did that in the middle of prepping? So yeah, we want about one cup now. 
measure. This guy, I think this is the one tablespoon measure. Yep, one tablespoon. So it's about a one inch ball. So again, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this in two steps. I'm gonna dish out like one at a time and I'm gonna re-roll them after the fact. So quick like, you know, pop on here. This part's, you know, super, super thrilling. Excitement, adventure, a disher. Um, toss a coin to your disher, oh, Valley of Plenty. Yeah, I'll just do an extra one over there. I might be making these a little bigger than the recipe calls for, but as I said, they are gonna squish down a little bit. Calls for one inch across, that's an inch. And if I need two trays, I need two trays. pretty good my man i think i said like yesterday i was definitely dragging i was feeling drained but like i uh i walked to a homebrew meeting and i don't know about you but like walking always does good for me it re-energizes me it gets me like ready to do stuff um lets my mind wander in a good way um so like i got to the meeting i had a great time with good friends um had a couple beers just was able to talk and you know hang out uh, had a good night's sleep and then like woke up and you know had some meetings today some of which kind of were, were crap there were work meetings others are like hey i think this has a real chance of like progress on stuff so i'm just like i'm doing good i'm doing good right now amber these turn out like gnocchi but because they're not potato based they end up much lighter um so it's it's like a it's again a, they're, they're a dumpling like a pseudo dumpling um and you can serve them but because they're so light even again even lighter than gnocchi um like i'll be serving these with like a brown butter and cherry tomato sauce so super light super refreshing but not like they're very satisfying don't don't take light as oh, i'll be hungry in 10 minutes like no you'll like these are very satisfying squats amaze you son of a just remember this, Amaze. You changed the point value of your own uh, push-ups because you couldn't handle it. So I'm gonna tuck that up, gonna give a little shimmy. I think I got 10. Gotta, you know, right, you know, right for it. Let's do a bang. <laughs> work that i dropped it i just just dropped it all the way down hit them squats since you like walking oh yeah i'm not wearing boat shoes right now i am wearing my bunny slippers and not because they like there's bunny ears like they're made out of rabbit and they are so comfy. All right, um, 
look at all these things that we made, guys. Look at that's awesome. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Um, and I'm gonna give them a quick little roll, just to kind of firm them up. Then let's get the sauce made. We are getting lost in the sauce. And yes, Dr. T, you can make me squat. That just sounds dirty. Uh, squats, recipe ideas, formulations. It's mostly just fun stuff. <laughs> you live to see them mocks. I'll show you my mock. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I'll show, if you show me yours, I'll show you mine. See again, right now we're just kind of firming these, uh, these up. We're just giving them a little, little patty pat, uh, getting them shaped. So I also think on the food, like redeem, redemption, pickle, you requested bimibop recently. And I think I'm gonna do that next week or the week after. Um, thick require thick requested elotes, and I did esquites, so it's kind of fulfilled, but not a hundred percent. So, but again, we're unfortunately out of corn season. I did do jambalaya, or I did gumbo, but I think uh, you know, if anyone else has the points and wants to drop down, uh, you know, pop in a uh, food request, I think I have the bandwidth right now for another one. I was thinking about doing like an esquites uh, um, dip. So actually like doing like roasted corn dip with like a uh, like a sour cream base or something and like bringing that to a party. I was thinking that would be pretty darn cool. Gotta wash my hands because it's starting to stick too much. All right, hands wet, beer. <laughs> You're uh, one point seven away from another request. Hey, you might hit that today. 50-50, uh, either today or the next stream. Within a week for certain. I like, it's a pickle. You, you, you spend your points on, you know, food and enlightenment and betterment of all of us. Amaze is dropping, a, dropping the points to see, see, see me drop it. Also, by the way, Pickle, how are you feeling? Again, I know we're about like a week out. No, we're long, no, we're like three weeks. Three weeks since your uh, surgery. You feeling okay, buddy? Like all, all's working the way you expect? Getting back into things? We are just about done shaping my bowels. And the music stopped. I gotta see what's up. So let me wash my hands. Probably gonna put these into the fridge just so they firm up a little bit. And then we'll start making our sauce, or at least the, the base of our sauce. Then get some water boiling for the nudies so it's ready when Mittens gets home. Um, and go from there. A month. Oh, dude, awesome. Pickle, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, not the hurting part, but like the forward progress and healing and doing stuff. Like, go Pickle. Bow, 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 bow. So 
So let me see if I can fit these in the fridge. And we can, ah, crap. All right, we're moving stuff around. Hey, now we, come, ah, close enough. <laughs> close enough. All right, let's, uh, let's look at this uh, sauce. Melt butter in a small saucepan, add garlic and cook. Off heat, add tomatoes and vinegar, cover and set aside. And then we get it up to heat. Divide sauce in four bowls. We're doing more than that. All right, so, okay, so this is awesome. We can do the sauce and then just like add the tomatoes, turn off the heat and just put it aside. So we're using a good size. Pickle, you be good, my friend. Cheers to the pickle of pickles. All right, let's, uh, let's get going on that. Uh, cast iron is going into the, ooh, forgot about that from last night. Oopsies. I was wondering where my third uh, sheet pan was. I made butter chicken for dinner last night, and it was delicious. But I was like under the gun getting it out, like getting it to the family. Forgot to clean the sheet pan. Eh, not a big deal. Uh, all right, so this this big honking, I'm pointing at if you know what I'm talking about. Here, get over here. This guy will be for our nudie. I like that because it's a big hot pan, and it can retain a lot of heat. Uh, we're going to fill this up, then we're going to get that to a boil, and that will sit. Again, I'm going to fill this guy up with water, get it to a boil. I'm going to get some butter out and uh, tomatoes. And we should have some leftovers, which are great because these are so darn good. And because there's so little flour, they're also super tender. And, and they freeze well, or they, they, they fridge well, gnocchi freeze well. Uh, these fridge well are delicious the next day. <laughs> my uh, my kind of rule of thumb for a lot of foods is if I uh, if I catch mittens snacking on it cold straight out of the fridge, I did a good job with with whatever the heck it is. Um, all right, so let's see for the sauce. We want four tablespoons of butter, three garlic cloves sliced thin, cherry or grape tomatoes halved. Cider vinegar, salt, pepper, and some basil. We're skipping the basil because it's a little outside the season. We don't need it. Maybe we'll throw in some parsley. I got some parsley across the street. <laughs> Amber, that's that's my way of doing it. If mittens is like, if I like come in to the kitchen after like playing with the kiddo in the front of the house and mittens is like sitting down over here with like a tub, you know, sit with like a tub of food, look at it, like watch you like, all right. I'm like, all right, like whatever the heck I made, it's tasty. I did okay. But that is a, and it's like, come on. I'm like, no, that's, that's awesome. The fact that like, that's my indicator that I did a darn good job. So uh, we aren't gonna make a huge amount of sauce. Actually, one, two, three, yeah. We'll make a little extra sauce. It's, it's, let's face it, this sauce is mostly just butter and tomatoes. Like that's, that's awesome. <laughs> if a sauce is butter and tomatoes, sign me the fuck up. Um, let's get, uh, let's say five cloves of garlic. One, two, three, four, five. Oof, that's stinky trash. That needs to go out tomorrow, today, frankly. Uh, let's get a larger bowl, because we're doing a larger volume. And I'm gonna prep this up before we start melting the butter. Um, I'll, melt, I'll get the butter in the pot. So here is, this is about four tablespoons. And we'll throw in another, let's say, two tablespoons for good measure. Put that off to the 
side. We want our garlic and we want our tomato. So we want 12 ounces of tomatoes. This is not useful. <laughs> I have no clue how much that is. So let's get our measuring cup out. Let's get a scale. We want 12 to 16, let's go 16 ounces. Maybe even like 20 ounces. We're gonna need a large, we're gonna need a bigger boat. All right, so we want 16 at minimum. Here's 16. And change. You know what? Screw it. Let's do all of them. Screw it. All the tomatoes. This is the sauce. You put as much or as little as you want on it. So we're doing all the tomatoes. And if we need more butter, we're going to add more butter. We have lost the tomato. things. Also, amber. Tomatoes are delicious. Butter is delicious. I, I don't think we need more than that. Like, those are two delicious things. I am going to sharpen this. Uh, you know what? Because we're doing so many tomatoes, we're going to clean this knife and then get the serious, the business. You heard me, the biznass. So this gets put away. And we're bringing out the chef's knife. Oh, hey, gamer. How's it going, my friend? Um, Gamer, I saw uh, Nate over the weekend. He said you guys actually live like surprisingly close to each other now. It's kind of cool. And for those that don't know, this is Gamer's hat. <laughs> Gamer left it at my house uh, a month or two ago. So yeah, so we're, we're bringing out this, you know what? Quickly, cheers. Rinse. And new beer, then back to slicing. Ah, uh, gamer. Well, I hope you're doing better, my man. Ah, uh, gamer. Do you think you are going to make it to the Oktoberfest party, or questionable? And that's an okay answer because you're far the hell away. We're doing some prep work and planning. Oh, this knife just slides through tomatoes. Like th this is like arguably the nicest knife I own with that big ass cleaver being the second nicest. Um, but the cleaver is definitely better for like bulk vegetables and like moving stuff around. This just like cuts. All right, fair enough, my man. That's, that's a good reason you will be missed. Um, 
evidently Freddie is coming to the MLBA uh, uh, Oktoberfest. I mean, he's walking distance, so he, he better, but it'll be cool to see Freddy for the first time in a while. But Gamer, understood, my man. You, you've got stuff going on, and I hope that goes well for both of you. We're just uh, right now. We're just in chopping the tomatoes mode. And this is one of those cases where a sharp knife is the safest. I mean, a sharp knife is always going to be safe. Uh, but especially for like small tomatoes where the flesh can be a little bit thin, having a super sharp, sharp knife that just bites in makes this so easy. It's cathartic to just like spend the time just like slice, slice, slice. It, it's, it's so pleasant. All right, our water just boiled, so it's hot. We'll add it to our uh, Dutch oven momentarily. And again, once, uh, once we get the main part of this done, if we have time, we are totally making mayo. I might make like a chipotle mayo, thinking about it. Depends on where we are, how close mittens is, etc, etc, etc. Hey, is that Ching? Yeah, Ching TV! How are you doing? It's been a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Ching, last night I made a bunch of Indian food, uh, some butter chicken and uh, some curried uh, American squash. It was delicious. And I have a uh, like an American style lo mein like in my back pocket ready to go. And I'm thinking that might be lunch tomorrow. But how are you and how are you doing? So tonight's dinner is, again, an Italian dish, nudi, G-N-U-D-I. It's like gnocchi, which you may have heard of, another like traditional Italian dish. Um, but instead of potato, like gnocchi is, this uses ricotta, a little bit of flour, and um, spinach, or some other leafy green. You're great. Awesome. Do you mean that sarcastically, or like you're actually doing pretty damn well? Because I only hope for success for me, for you. We are just about done this. Our butter is melting. It's actually kind of nice because I can look at my screen right here to see the status of the melting butter. And it's, it's melting away nicely, but it's not foaming. It's not burning. All right, that's that's kind of what I look for. Let's see, 45 mittens will be home with the kiddo in 15 minutes. So we might not get to butter today. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, mayo today, but we're not. We may. We st we're still in a pretty good, pretty good ship. Last uh, two more handfuls. All right, all of our tomatoes are cut. Uh, next up, we're going to get our garlic cloves in there. Let me just move these out of the way. I'm gonna wipe this down. I'm not gonna uh, wash the board per se. Uh, we did that earlier, we, especially after the eggs. I give it a quick wipe down, um, wash down. But right now we just wanna make sure this is all clean because I wanna prevent slipping. That's that's what I'm most afraid of right now. So we're gonna be cooking all this. Let's get this little something, something. 
So here's our five cloves of garlic. So we want to melt the butter, add the garlic, and then until the butter is very foamy and garlic is pale golden, around two, three minutes. Then we add the tomatoes, we add the vinegar, and turn off the heat. So we got five, uh, five cloves of garlic. We're gonna slice it super thin. Um, if you have a mandolin that you like, use it. I've got two mandolins and I don't like either of them. So I almost always end up doing, uh, doing this slicing by hand. And frankly, I think I'm quick enough that for like a small amount, like a couple cloves of garlic, I could do it better, better than solo. Hey, Pickleback and Absolute Schmidt. Hey there. Say, so it's been a, been a hot minute since you've been here, uh, isn't it, Schmidt? How are you today? We got all kinds of friends coming and say hello to you. Oh, awesome. I, this puts me, again, I, I, I do this streaming for company while I'll be cooking anyway. So, oh, makes definitely makes me happy. Let me get this peeled. Again, five. I think five cloves could be enough. I could be convinced that more cloves are necessary, but five is a good start. And cheers. All right. Let's slice this up thin. Again, so. Super thin. Long time ago here on Twitch. <laughs> Are those days long past? Absolute. So again, we're just slicing this garlic as thin as we can. Again, we could use a mandolin, but again, we're only doing five cloves. So when wants more, we'll throw more in. Um, but I'm not gonna kill myself. <laughs> uh, are you are you a you're a so uh, pickle? Are you a uh, semi sour pickle? Smells good. But butter and garlic, like, what else do you really need in life than a pile of butter and garlic? Uh, let me wash my hands. I don't know where to get that. Ooh, that's a lot of dishes in the sink. Whatever. It was messy before. I cleaned it all up. Um, so let's get all this garlic up and over. So it's melted, it's a little foamy, but the garlic hasn't started cooking it, which is perfect. Because we can distribute it very well and it's gonna slowly kind of come together as it warms. So we want like two to three minutes for it to get like golden brown. Uh, so now we're going to want uh, two teaspoons of cider vinegar. So that's going to be one tablespoon of cider vinegar. Um, try, 
I've got way too many like sauces and seasonings in here. The cider vinegar is all the way in the back. Get out of the way. Son of a bitch. So, cider vinegar, tomatoes, a uh, tablespoon. And then we might make some mayo. We might, we might have time. Absolutely, you're 100% right. Butter, garlic, salt, and baguette. Mm. Happy Pickle, I appreciated that. I liked that. Um, so, <coughs> how much time do we have on our bread? About 30 minutes left on the bread we're resting. We'll roll it out on here and then pop it into the, into the fridge and I'll bake it tomorrow morning. But yeah, we got bread going. We got bread going like a, a sourdough sandwich loaf because the kiddo demand, like the, one of the kiddo's favorite foods is sourdough bread in general. That's what they teethed on. Because I was stuck at home. I wasn't stuck at home. I chose to take three months off after the kiddo was born. And I did, Mittens did months zero to three. I did months three to six. So I had nothing else to do at home. So I did a lot of baking. And sourdough was one of the kiddo's first foods. Yeah, absolutely. I did modify the ads, but uh, Twitch, Twitch has been pushing the ads and the frequency more heavily. So I've spread them out. I've spread them out. So it's not just a minute and a half straight of ads. So ads done. Great. Um, long and short. Uh, the kiddos' first foods were was sourdough that I was making because I had nothing else to do at home with the kiddo. Um, not that I had nothing else to do, but it was like it was like January and February. It was too cold to go out for a walk. I was isolated with a new child. I didn't know what I could do, so I was like, I can I can cook. So that's that's what the kiddo like nah, 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 like munched on and loved was uh, like sourdough rinds in particular. So we're doing a sandwich bread right now. It's not rindy per se, but uh, I'm probably going to do a full blown like sourdough loaf sometime this week. Oh, man, I love sourdough. Sourdough is so damn tasty. Um, I am seeing who is on right now on Twitch just so we know who to potentially visit. Um, We've got the eggs, and Mittens isn't home yet. Let me make sure Mittens has a message. So we got no one uh, that we want that we want to raid in. Ooh, uh, Mittens sent a message. Oh, uh, Mittens will be home, and will be home at six thirty or six forty-five. So yes, we are totally doing mayonnaise. We, we need a horn for that. All right, that's starting to look a little golden. We got some brown right there. We are going to add in a tablespoon of our cider vinegar and all our tomatoes, and we're going to cut the heat. Let's uh, make sure we can get a nice view of that. And then all our tomatoes. Because the tomatoes are going to help dump a lot of cold or, you know, soak up heat in the system to prevent anything from browning too much. Tomatoes with a hit of acid is just such a good combination no matter what. to here. Ah. All right. Um, adds so part of our part of sourdough is typical for our bread in Germany. Yeah. So I I started doing sourdough breads before my kid was born. My kid is five now. 
Um, but I did it very intermittently. I really got into it when I was home taking care of the kid and I would bake two loaves of sourdough, sometimes three a week, and I loved it. So, um, and I started learning more. So you're right, like a lot of places, some sourdough is a requirement. I really enjoy now doing hybrid doughs where I do a portion of sourdough, but then I also use a little bit of commercial yeast just to boost it up. So I get all the flavor of the sourdough, but it doesn't take as long because I'm using commercial yeast to give that last bit of oomph. You did what with whom for how many Skittles? Dudes, oh, only the lime Skittles, first of all. Not green apple, none of that bull shit. <laughs> hey, Bernsey, how you doing, my friend? Uh, you posted that rock singer the other day, didn't you? The goth uh, orca rock singer? That, that looks so cool. Again, if you guys like mini painting or Gundams, give Bernsey some, some, some love. Bernsey's a great, Bernsey is a great human being in general, as all of you are. Um, and fun to talk to, fun to talk to, just <laughs> I, the, the red skittles are pretty damn good, but the lime, the lime skittles, oh, so, so good. Um, so, Bernsey, I have a dilemma insofar as I've prepped our bread. I have prepped our sauce. I have prepped our nudie, and I'll actually pull those out so you can see them. Um, we have it, let's say, 30 minutes before, at best, before Mittens gets home. And I'll, I'll say I've got at least 15 minutes after Mittens gets home before dinner has to be ready. So we've got our nudie, little uh, little gnocchi-like ricotta dumplings that are divine. Like seriously, it's amazing how good these are. Um, <laughs> when I asked Mittens, I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about doing nudie for, uh, for dinner on Friday. That's how good. She's like, why don't you do them more often? <laughs> I'm like, well, because they take some time. And I'm, but I'm thinking to myself, like, why don't I do these more often? These are freaking fantastic. Yeah. Mm, so good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do some, uh, we're gonna make mayo. It's gonna be a very rich mayo because we have three egg yolks to work with. Usually one egg yolk is enough to work with one cup of, oopsies. Um, one egg yolk is enough to work with one cup of uh, uh, oil. We're going, and we're gonna do three for two. So three egg yolks for two cups of oil, because that's what we have, and that's what's going to fit the container I have. Um, and we'll also, again, put, we'll do chipotle. Let's do a chipotle mayo, because A, I love that. Uh, ooh, we could do a QP mayo also, like a Japanese, like slightly umami, slightly, ooh. Damn it, I don't know what to do. Hey, absolute, thank you very much. Um... Again, I've never had these authentically, so it's just based on like what I understand that the food should be, but I love them. What do you guys think? Should we do like a Japanese QP mayonnaise with some additional like handashi and maybe a little fish sauce? Or should we do like a, 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 a mayonnaise with uh, chipotle peppers, pureed chipotle peppers? I'm thinking the QP mayonnaise. I think the QP mayo would have a little more, would be a little more utilitarian and I could use it in more things. Ooh, I'm liking this. All right. Um, unless anyone really thinks hard about Chipotle mayo and, you know, let your voice be said now, I'm thinking the QP. Like a, like a sweet QP would be a good idea. Because we could add a little handashi, a little bit of sugar. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me get a blender, a bottle for our blender or a container. I'm going to give this a quick rinse. <laughs> garlic. Um, probably three cloves of garlic. One per egg yolk. Ah, we want QP to be a little more neutral. Let's do two. Two good sized cloves. 
two teaspoons, two or three teaspoons of Dijon moutard mustard. Oh, I like, we're doing like mad science. So that is not gonna be enough. So we're gonna get some whole grain mustard to, to amp it up. Ooh, that's mustardy. So I'm gonna give a little, get a little scoop of uh, a whole grain Dijon that I have. Because everyone carries multiple uh, Dijon mustards, of course, right? Dijon. This is whole seed Dijon. One's not better than the other. I just, I like them both um, for different purposes. So we've got two, two teaspoons more or less of a mustard. We're going to grate in, or at least dice in, uh, two cloves of garlic. Uh, we'll put in some lemon zest and a little lemon juice. I like that over uh, vinegar. So I think the lemon provides a little more complexity to it. And I'm slicing them as opposed to smashing them because the blender is going to take care of pulverizing them and I want to make sure they're in, in an acid rich environment to get a bunch of the lemon, uh, the uh, onion garlic flavor without it being too harsh. I want to minimize the like raw oniony heat, mustardy heat out of this. So as long as it's well covered and it's in that Dijon, Dijon, Dijon has vinegar in it, I'm okay. Oh my. How are you doing, B? This is going to be good. <laughs> uh, B, do you have any house guests right now, perchance? Any awesome people that we can say hello to? Uh, microplane, microplane. Ah, oh, I gotta rinse it. Son of a bitch. I certainly do. We are thriving, kinda. Clev! So first of all, um, be, I don't know if uh, Marcus is hanging out, so I can't shout out Exotic or Clever Girl. Either way, Clev, if you're watching, Marcus, B, Vasey, when Vasey arrives, who else is coming? I know th those are the three. There's one other person coming, right? Vasey and who else? Who else was coming for the uh, for the exotic weekend? Yeah, I'm envious. Can uh, can't really uh, pop off, pop away from uh, mittens and the kiddo that uh, that easily. We got pickle. We got amber. Uh, laughter was on for a while, and so was Coldy. It was, it was it was fun. It was it was so good. Just be, just be able to like talk to friends. Oh, makes me happy. It really does. So we're gonna add about a half a lemon worth of zest, and then we'll add about a half lemon worth of juice. And that acid is really gonna help uh, tame a lot of the garlic bite as well as help provide balance. So again, we're gonna do a QP style. 
and slice in half. Get a small strainer, pour it over there. So there is juice left over in this. I'm not going to go too hard on it because I don't want to overwhelm it. I've realized a couple times, like I use some nice, nice uh, lemons and limes. Some recipes, the, the citrus just overpowers whatever the heck I'm trying to make. So I'm trying to be a little more cautious. We can always add in more. Um, Amber. Mayo always has some kind of balancing acid. Um, mass market mayo is usually just white vinegar, cheap white vinegar. Um, lemon has, provides a little more freshness, a little more vibrancy, and with QP in particular, it just really helps it pop. But it is a personal preference. You don't need it. I like it. I think it adds a very pleasant flavor. but it is not a must-do. So I'm gonna get two uh, cups of oil. I'll be right back. And then we'll uh, start blending this. So here is our oil. Boop, 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 boop. All right, two cups. Hey, it's Marcus. Are you done ordering cards for your dick and can we ship? Ship away, my friend. Um, even if new stuff's been added, I am content with my deck where it is, and I'm going to go the jank route. I'm not going the good route. <laughs> I'm going the jank route. I want to see what, what can be done with this, my man. Um, Amber, I've done it a bunch of times. Um, I failed a bunch of times because I was too aggressive with it. Until I just realized the slow down and the results are so good. And by the way, Marcus, exotic, heart, pickle, heart, amaze, heart, gamer, heart. G gamer and I shared a bed, you know. At Homebrew Con a bunch of years ago. Let's get, uh, let's get these eggs in here, and then uh, we'll slowly start blending. Just pull off. Um, I know we talked about it on stream, I feel I talked about it a couple times. I am pretty much good to go, as far as I know, with going to PAX Unplugged with the kiddo at minimum on their Sunday event. And I'm looking to do their Friday, Saturday without the kiddo. So I think I said before, like, anyone else who's doing PAX Unplugged, let me know. I was uh, willing to get an Airbnb and just, like, host a bunch of people and, like, cook. Not enough people are going, it looks like, of these communities, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big trip. Um, so I might just take the train in like each day. I'm, I live close enough to just train back and forth. But I will be attending PAX Unplugged at minimum with the kiddo on Sunday. Alrighty. 
So what we're gonna do now is we have our immersion blender. You guys can see and there's those egg yolks and all the other goodness. So first we're gonna blend this up. It gets a little foamy, it gets a little, you know, a uh, little zhuzh to it. We are now going to add in some handashi, and we're going to add in a little bit of sugar. Um, we're going to add more of this based on final taste. I just want to get a little bit of salt. Actually, let's just do the handashi initially, um, which helps with some salt. It helps to, to like denature some of the proteins. So the trick to doing homemade mayonnaise is while running, we just put a little bit of uh, oil in, super tiny amount. Lift it up and incorporate that bit of oil. Already you can see it thicken a little bit. And again, a little, little splash. Even turn the immersion blender to like grab a little bit and blend it on it. The slower you go, the better off you'll be. Another little splash. And as you add more, you can increase the amount you add. If you add too much at once, you break it. You put too much oil in at once, it can't coat it, it can't like subdivide it well, and you just end up with a mess. And once you hit a certain point, you can actually just flood the top of it with oil and just let it naturally get pulled down. This is not a super powerful immersion blender. It's a good one, a KitchenAid, but it's not a super powerful one. A powerful one would actually in, like pull down. This just does fine. So let's, uh, let's get a beer. You know what, I'm gonna put our water into our Dutch oven. Because I think I want a little more water in here. That's not bad. Uh, but I'm going to turn the heat on low. Just so we can have our water be like ready to go when Mittens steps through that door. I'm going to fill this up with another like two quarts of water. I'll boil that. I'll add half. And then we'll salt our water and then we'll be ready to rock. It does take a minute to fill. There, there is that. I'll, I'll wait till we got one liter. I'll call it there. Let's add a little more oil and keep on going. Amber, I will happily show you my bread. Um, <laughs> uh, once the it's done churning, we will fold it into a loaf pan. I'll put it into the fridge to do a slow rise overnight. That produces, that forces the yeast to slow down and makes it a lot more flavorful. Um, and then I'll bake it like tomorrow after my Six mile trail run. Ooh, that's gonna suck a bag of dicks. I'm looking forward. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to running with my friend. I am not looking forward to running. <laughs> but we'll, we'll we'll get you the goods, Amber. Because of course you are the best.
Alrighty. Let's keep on mayonnaising it up. I'm gonna start that in. I'm now like tilting it a bit. I'm giving it a quick little whirl to make sure everything's like well, like gone. But I'm gonna tilt it a bit because it's easy for me to incorporate a little bit at a time. I'm keeping it below the um, the top to minimize how much oil is being incorporated, like blended in at once. Oh, uh, thank you, Amber. And there's the beep saying our bread is done. So when we finish up this, next up, like bread. So I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of oil on top, but the idea is to slowly incorporate the oil. Until it loses that like way too shiny shine. Oh yeah. point where we can start being a little more aggressive with our additions because it's already on like a good emulsified pace. I'm still cautious. I'm still going slower than I need to because I've had a break because I was too aggressive. But that is looking so damn good. Quick uh, beer break. And it looks like Mittens is home, uh, 10 minutes earlier than expected. But we got the water going, so we don't care. We can do another a little bit of a uh, mayo or a little so we're about halfway done adding we can probably increase the amounts a bit and i like being cautious making very dirty sounds. I acknowledge that. Um, all right, so then we just got to finish this up and then uh, Mittens gets home We uh, and start the nudie. So watching my viewers drop and I think it's hilarious probably because of the noise but no we're, we're just about done maybe another uh, three quarters of a cup so I'm gonna add a larger amount now Ooh, hi kiddo
Yes, little one. Cool. Is that the type that you like? Bubblegum. Bubblegum. Very cool, little one. It's the same flavor as my toothpaste. It's the same flavor as your toothpaste. You're right. Yeah, and we got it from Target. Cool. But I have Amber, you're right. You do hear it, kiddo. Oh, wait. I have, I have to finish my new one. If you would like to, it's dry now that you can finish painting. Now you can do the sparkles, kiddo. So we're going to add this oil in two batches, then we're done homemade mayo. Crumb a little bit earlier. It's awesome. Oh, we just ran over to Tarjay. Mm -hmm. um, you mean Target? Yes. <laughs> that. Um, there was a um, like buy four of these items of these items in this personal care category mm -hmm. and get a five dollar. Um, gift card. Awesome. And so she's been wanting mouthwash, so mm -hmm. I got her some bubblegum mouthwash. No, I wouldn't want, I was not asking for mouthwash. You keep wanting to swish and spit, like Sophia does. Sounds good. And also the deodorant, deodorant that we used. Awesome. So. All right. Um, I have all the nudie Sophia. made. I'm getting Sophia the water. First. I'm getting the water up to no, temp, and then we will, uh, I'll finish up. All right, everyone, let's finish up our mayo. not done let's uh let's taste it and do any adjustments we will need some sugar we may need some more salt we may need a little more handashi especially while our uh water is getting up to temperature to do our nudie so that's rich that's very rich it needs salt and it needs sugar probably needs more oil frankly uh to lighten it up which sounds weird um Add some handashi, we're gonna add some sugar. Again, it's uh, QP is supposed to be on the thicker side, so I'm not opposed to it. But let's, uh, let's see how these seasonings go. add a little bit of fish sauce and I think a little bit of liquid will help to also kind of like bring everything together so a little bit of fish sauce and it will actually polish off this bottle hi kiddo Let's see how that is. Mm. 
and we'll finish off the uh, fish sauce in there. Maybe even a little more oil, but I think we're, we're doing well on the seasoning side. See how our boiling water switch. You're done, kiddo. It's beautiful, huh? Nice job, little one. You did a wonderful job. How do you think about it? What do you think about it? You like Good. it? Very nice, little one. Little one finished doing their uh, their unicorn. Rinse this, maybe a little bit, a little more lemon. Daddy? Just a little water. I mean, mom. Mommy? Yes. I can use my mouth. Uh, it's up in the bathroom. You can use it after dinner. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. A little more lemon. Not much, but like a little. A little more lemon will help lighten it up a little because it is heavy right now with the amount of oil. Which is to be expected, of course, but it's like for homemade mayo. Let's add just a little bit more lemon to help brighten it up. I think we're done. It's pretty tasty. Maybe a little more hondashi, not much. And we're not going to know until tomorrow. And then we'll uh, let's get uh, our nudie cooking. Oh, as a heads up, somebody requested onigiri for lunch tomorrow. Okay. We'll need to buy some things for rice pudding, but I'm happy to do that as well. We're done. Again, I think I'll may, maybe add a little more oil. But I want to pivot to our nudie. I thought that was good. We have a nice pot of water boiling. We're going to add some salt. We do want this salty water. We'll see how that goes. And if we need to add more salt, we can. We can't take salt away. We can add water, but... You know, we can't take the salt away per se. There are. Nice little splash of oil in there. So again, we want like a QP style, so like a very thick mayonnaise. As opposed to like a thinner uh, chipotle mayo, but it's it's good. Yes, be it's, that's, don't worry about it. <laughs> that's a question best left unasked. Um, all right, so let's, uh, we're gonna do the, uh, we're going to add our, transfer all the nudies to the water. And it's going to take five minutes to cook. 
starting tire once water has gotten to a simmer. Um, and then we're gonna get our, uh, take about five minutes, then we'll also heat up that, our sauce at the same time. <laughs> so I think we're about like a couple minutes out. Let's, have, let's get this cooking. We have mayo, we have the nudie. And, and that sums it up. Like I'm pretty happy with this, everyone. Also, uh, yes, B. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, dear. All right, uh, let's add our nudie. It's gonna be about five minutes for these to cook. So again, I'm gonna switch our camera over to our stove. Slurp indeed. Once that hits a simmer, it'll be five minutes away. Um. Let's give this a taste. A little more sugar. And salt is good. The umami is good. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of oil. Close. Use the square button to go back. This is good. This is the, again, laughter, excellent choice. Again, this doing mayo with what we had. Uh, uh, yes, B, those are the nudie. So those are the little like dumplings we made earlier with ricotta. That's all they are. With ricotta and spinach. Ricotta, spinach, and flour. And some parmesan. And they are delicious. Especially to, to cut. Ooh, you doing some MTG like big brain uh, moves, uh, Bernsey? Laughter. I'll be sure to get a photo of the result. Are you sure it wasn't on Disney this morning? That's good, uh, Bernsey. Um, so I'm gonna keep the heat up on our tomatoes. Once that gets to a simmer, we'll start a five-minute timer. And we'll, uh, we're done with the sauce, too, right here. So we're, uh, we're good friends. Let's see if anyone's streaming that we want to hop into and visit. <coughs> um, no one offhand, there's, there's, there's Day9, who is a big streamer, does not need our attention. Um, there's Will Hall Experience, who is AFK right now, so doesn't need our attention. Um...
Let's let's see who's uh who's cooking. I normally don't do a random like hop in, but we're gonna end now so that way we've got food ready to go. Um, are we doing picnic dinner or are we doing table dinner? I would prefer to do table dinner, but I'm not opposed to picnic if that's what you're in the mood for. I'm just looking at the table and uh, it's a little intense. It is. What's your what's your thought? Um, picnic movie dinner. Okay. Are you okay with picnic movie dinner? I am. Okay. I'll, in all honesty, I'll probably be in here cleaning during it, but I'm fine with that. Uh, you just cut down a smaller creature. They were trying to use March of the Wretched on. Ooh, yeah. Good call, Bernsey. Um, So we are going to end soon. Again, I'm going to find a smaller streamer to raid into. I'm not saying, again, I'm, I'm happy with people here. Um, you know what? This person's name is Purple Unicorn Dreams. That's hilarious. I think the kiddo would appreciate that as well. So we're going to hop into Purple Unicorn Dreams. Have you ever been into Purple Unicorn Dreams? I have not. They have not been into me. I have not been into them. They look like a new streamer. So let's be good to good people. Does that sound, if that sounds good to everyone, Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. So the fact that these are starting to float indicates that they are, they are getting close to being done. So when the timer goes off, we'll pull them. We, as a family, will eat. Let's go right into Purple Unicorn Dreams and see what they have to do. So I'm going to pop my volume off here and switch it over. Daddy, we yes, are doing yes, we are. I am. I'm going to do a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to do picnic dinner. It's the little things in life. It is. Yeah, you know. All right, so let's go right over to Purple Unicorn Dreams. Everyone be good. Ask questions. I'll get a photo on, uh, get a photo on later. How big should this be boiling? Reasonably. All right, everyone. Be good. Let's start our raid. Uh, let's give some love and can help bring people up. Take care, everybody.